challenges that may affect viewers who are susceptible to photosensitive epilepsy and other photosensitivities. Viewer discretion is advised. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are tuning in from. Welcome to the grand finals day. Now, of course, you may realize I am not Yinsu, nor am I GB or anyone else who is actually qualified to be doing this job. I am just a caster, so you might be thinking, what the hell is going on? Well, I have one a special guest. I also have High Park. I guess you could be a special guest too. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Yeah. Cool. And we will introduce this delightful man in just a moment's time. But if you are wondering what we are doing, we are just now moments away, about 10 minutes, give or take, from getting to from see... Something pretty exciting, yeah. Yeah, getting to get a little hands-on action with Clove. So I know some of you out there, if you have Twitter and or Reddit, may have had a little glimpse, but we promise you, this is way better. So you don't want to be watching it there, you want to watch it here. But Dan, it is a pleasure to have you here. If they haven't already seen your Twitter handle, they may know who you are at this point. But Dan, why don't you introduce yourself to the lovely people at home? Sure. Uh, so my name is Dan Hardison. I'm a game designer on the Valorant's Agents team. Uh, you may know me as Penguin. Uh, that's my like gamer tag handle, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> okay, so Sean any of you, yeah, Sean Twitter, it works. But again, yeah, yeah. if you don't know who Dan is, go check out the Twitter because he's he, he actually uses it and he has a personality, which is crazy. <laughs> and speaking that's why we of, dragged him on here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> speaking of socials, though, this is your time. We want your thoughts. Get in touch with us before the finals really kicks off. Obviously, Gen G and Sentinels are waiting. This is when we want your thoughts. The Mastercard fan poll QR card down below. QR card. QR code down below. Scan it. Let us know who you think is winning. Now, Michael, real briefly, who do you think is winning that one, social-wise, on the Twitters? Social-wise? Yeah, well, social-wise, I think poll. Sentinels might win Maybe that poll, just, just by a little, little bit. bit. But, series, I, I'm still sticking to my guns, Gen G. Oh, I mean, Other set of, well, prediction. Thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think Gen G has looked insane on this on this event so far. Like, they have took W Gaming to another level. They challenged PRX and yeah. Sentinels, both split maps. They kind of took it to them. I was really impressed. I was really impressed. Yeah, I mean, we've been given a dev who actually watches esports, which is wild. So we are going to harass you throughout the game, and I'm going to put myself in front of the bus rather than them. But we get to talk about... Okay, look. We'll talk about Clove in a little bit of time. Once the players are ready, they're taking their time. You know who's coming now, they're getting ready. But we get to kind of pick your brain a little bit about, I guess, the bigger picture. And I kind of want to get those at home to know you as well as we do, who've harassed you, followed you, and <laughs> DM'd you on Twitter. And it's mostly, let's kind of roll it back to the start. So is this the first agent you've personally launched here? And could you break down the little process of that? I know Mike's been dying to kind of get the behind the scenes process, but is this your first agent you've brought in? Yeah, this is the first agent I've done from start to finish. So I did a little bit of balance work prior to mm. starting this agent to kind of onboard onto the team. Uh, but this was the first one I started, I prototyped. You know, obviously there's a lot of help, a lot yeah. of other people involved throughout the whole thing. But this was like the whole, you know, this I is your shebang, right? Yeah, yeah. This is yours. Okay, so balance-wise, what what else? What are you responsible for? Uh, what am I responsible for? Yeah, so I'm responsible for, you know, Phoenix. I made his flash a little good. Uh, that <laughs> might have been, you know, might have gone a little too far on that. But, you know, now I, can, I don't really know if I want to undo a nerf to, or a buff to Phoenix, you know, at this point. So it's kind of worked out better than I expected it to. It things really fast. Um, then I also, you know, made the very unpopular first chamber change uh, where I removed the trap or the second the global. Second, yeah, yeah, yeah. The second global Ooh. chamber trap. That was a pretty good uh, ability. Hey, uh -huh. hey, look, hey, look, wow. look, 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 look. This now, you've put that out. It's a safe space. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. You're safe here. Yeah, I'm here. The internet, less so. Not However, so speaking of other people, the outside world, we have the delights of the vertical stream joining us for a moment here. They're actually set up oh. right up there. I can kind of see them. Zoe, Chrissy, how are you doing? It's fabulous to have you here. How's your day going so far? Hi, Pansy! <laughs> we can kind of see you right now, too. We're very far away. They put us up here. We're vertical, uh, typically, so because vertical, yeah. we are tall. True. We are True. tall. We also, can't fit in a horizontal screen. They just couldn't fit us. They yeah. couldn't fit our egos in a, in, in a wide screen. It had That's, to be it's an tall. ego issue, really. <laughs> Speaking of, Pansy, you were like, you're not qualified for this? I think you're the best person for the job. I love the lies you tell to me, Chrissy. That's <laughs> the sort of energy we need coming into this. Just, just big me up. But, but what can people expect from the vertical screen? Give us a brief little, like, Pitch oh, me it. Give me that everything. pitch real quick. What's everything going on? Everything and then there? some. Uh, Pansy, I mean, this this is 
this is chill. This is a safe space up here, actually. Oh. Yeah, no, we're we're talking about Valorant, obviously. Yeah, we're uh, kind of low-key commentating on the games that are going on. But also, we're just having fun with it. Yeah. So if you want to join us to talk about everything and nothing, uh, this is the right place for you. And we are bringing in a lot of really fun guests throughout the day. We've actually abandoned Mitch and Tom mm. over at the merch booth. True. So they are just, we're live on TikTok and on YouTube uh, in the shorts format for the Valorant Esports channel for both. And Mitch and Tom are holding down the fort right now. They are just at the merch booth. We don't really know what's happened to them. We may never come back, but uh, <laughs> but we're hanging out here for now. <laughs> it's fantastic to hear from you both. Honestly, it's a blast over there. If you haven't already checked it out, you absolutely should. They're far too funny for their own good. But now I'll let you guys go so you can focus on that vertical stream and I can start harassing you once again with questions. You can already hear it now. The audience is getting riled up, right? Like this is starting to really kick off here. But Mike, I know you had a couple of questions to fire at this man. So anything at the tip of your mind that you wanted to bring in here? I, I guess uh, the, the big question is where, where's the inspiration? inspiration come from, uh, I guess, from idea, conception-wise? Where do you start with that process? And um, I, I guess, how was that for you? Yeah, yeah, so ideation and process, like, obviously there's some amount of that that's like product-driven, some of that is like, hey, what, what do we need within the game? Um, and, you know, honestly, when I heard that we wanted to work on a controller, I wanted to jump on that problem because I actually play a lot of controller, and I was like, oh, I think I have some ideas. No bias, right? Yeah, yeah, no bias, no bias here. Um, but I, th I felt like I had some ideas that we could, you know, test around, see how they worked in the game. And uh, we were pleasantly surprised with how some of the stuff worked, honestly. Like, we were kind of expecting a lot of the abilities to be, like, way too crazy, way too wild early. And then, you know, people weren't that frustrated by them initially, which is, like, really crazy. That's pretty Bonus, good. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. It's, like, really rare in a game like Valorant that you get to use these abilities and someone else isn't having a lot less fun as a result. So okay. we were really excited about that. Okay, so I guess in terms of development, how, how different is Clove now versus the first version? Oh my god, the first version was an entirely <laughs> different character. Unbelievable. Really? We sp yeah, we spent a ton of time prototyping these like really wild stuff because when we knew we wanted to experiment with post-death, we wanted to make sure we kind of covered that whole design space. So I tried like tons of different versions where like you could cast every ability after death. You could cast some oh. hilariously powerful oh. abilities after death. It was really bad. It was really frustrating. <laughs> really Being toned OP. down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we had to kind of keep chipping around until we figured out uh, what exactly worked, what was the best, the most fun for all parties involved. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the results, honestly. I, I think we're going to see the proof of that in a moment's time. I know I've just seen the audience starting to get towards the walkout area. Everyone's now starting to congregate around because the players coming out soon. We're going to have the likes of I think Mixed World coming out. We've got big Mimi, names up there. Yeah. We've got Kai. Uh, you know, as I said, there are some genuinely incredible players here. So like, look at this roster. You've got Team Spain. Now you know I I know Mixed World. The rest a little less so, but there are big names here. And I just hope Mixed World's playing that agent. I want to see what he does, right? Like I want to see what Mixed World can do with that. And on the other side, the international team. We've taken a tour around the globe and brought you some of the best people possible. Mike, is there anything you're looking out for in this game? Is there anything you're, especially with Clove in play? I mean, I'm, I'm looking hoping to see the Mimi Mixwell Clove heads ahead. Oh, that would be kind of good. That'd be kind of good. No, I, I, I'm on board. I'm on board. No, I, 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 no bias, obviously, whatsoever. Huh. Huh. EMEA bias, uh, well, Hype Park and Pansy Classic. Doesn't exist. Yeah, true. No. Um, only in Reddit. <laughs> so many things only exist on Reddit. Now, before we get you into trouble, um, yeah. is there anything with Clove, as we're getting very, very close to getting to see it in action, is there anything you're wanting to see specifically? Alt-wise, some of the abilities, something you'd love to see happen potentially during the show match? Yeah, I think the ult has a lot of really great moments. There's a lot of like, honestly, comedy that comes about as a result <laughs> of the ult. Like, one of the things that we saw is like, players really like to bully other players and like, make sure the ultimate time's out. Um, oh. That's kind of like the playing against case that is really funny and really entertaining okay. to look out for. I think playing as, it's really powerful at checkmating post plants or doing kind of like these really crazy, like turnaround situations or just straight execing onto a site. Like it's kind of similar to a random dismiss in that way that it just kind of yeah. breaks timings and makes things get a little crazy. I, and I know a lot of us who've seen some of the, you know, information that got out and, and, and have been waiting to see what it looks like practically. I think we were just hoping maybe you could see Paper X with it or something like that, right? It's, it's basically yeah. like aggressive omen. Omen yes. with allows you to rush. Yeah. Like, give me some of that action. So again, there's a lot of things we're excited for here, but we are getting very close by. We're about 40 seconds away from actually jumping into this fully and getting at least the players on the stage, getting everyone starting to build into this. Mike, I'll give you a prediction on the game. International, oh, wow. Spain. Yeah, unlucky. Unlucky. I mean, I've... Uh yeah, I've got to lean mixed well, so it's, it's got, got, yeah, it's got to be Are you just pandering? Uh, home crowd pandering? They can't even hear us! Uh, they can't, but I'm kind of with them. 
to be honest. Okay, okay. And you, which team are you going for? Robert? I think communication is huge in Valorant. I think I, I gotta right. go with Team Spain. I don't know how much, you know, how much the skills match up, but I think, like, really, I gotta go with comms. Okay, we've alluded to it. Let's get really in depth, hands on with Clove. A butterfly, I flip a switch, keep a secret, but you come inside. When I run, I run the gamut, but I could never plan it. I keep on breathing when I run it. When I run, I run the gamut, but I could never plan it. I keep on breathing when I run it. Welcome, folks. It's Sasha and Bren, joined by John Gasecki, Agents Lead on Valorant, and Dan Hardison, Game Designer on Valorant as well. That was a vibe, that video. Oh, yeah. But no. I'm not exactly sure exactly what I saw. I mean, the aesthetic is awesome, for one. Uh, yeah, I mean, with Clove, there was something going on with, like, post-death, but coming back to life in some way or form. But generally, as well, I mean, you look at the art style, you look at the direction you guys are taking Clove. It's so cool. It is so damn cool and so different to what you'd expect, where you, you know, maybe go in Skull and Bones and a bit more grungy. But talk to me a bit about that process, as well, where you went with this design choice for Clove. The team definitely talked about the, like, the darker, grungier aesthetic right from the get-go when Dan was like, hey, I'm going to give you post-death, what can you do with this? <laughs> um, and we really wanted to challenge ourselves in finding a twist to that. What is something that could be different? Early on, we landed in this spot around what we called like a beautiful death. How do we make death appealing? How do we make it very inviting? And that contrast, that double take, was something that kind of like colored the entirety of Clove from the way their abilities look to this like really appealing, cool fashion sense that has like a little bit of an edge to it, to their personality that's like mischievous and risk-taking, but also like warm and inviting. And so that contrast really was the through line for everything of their looks and personality. Well, we normally go through the agents by kind of working our way along. Yeah. But I really think it makes more sense with Clove to work backwards and start with the ultimate. So that's where I want to ask my first question. You're talking about there being something after death, uh, almost a, a spiritual <laughs> sense. <laughs> well, what, what is the ultimate then? How is this working? Yeah, so the way the ultimate works is after you die, you have a few seconds where you can still press your ultimate key. And then after you press your ultimate, you have a 12 second window uh, where you need to get a kill or a damaging assist to stay within the round. Um, you also get like a 
two second window where you can reposition and move around, kind of similar to Reyna's Dismiss, so you can pick where you come back and start to plan to take your next fight. And it's called Not Dead Yet. Just not dead yet, straight up. Like, that, that's yeah, a great it's, name. it's really cool. It is a great name. Yeah. So I want to move on then to the smoke ability for Clove, which is called Ruse. And because th there is a twist here as well, it's not like other standard controller agents. You can also use Ruse while you've died. So can you walk me through that? We kind of wanted Clove to be a more aggressive agent who would be more comfortable taking risks being proactive and not, you know, watching the whole round unfold while they're just trying to figure out what to do with their team. Um, so we kind of ended up just saying, hey, you can still do this after you die. Um, so that's kind of the design inspiration behind Ruse. I'm not going to get flamed for going down first in my ranked <laughs> games. I mean, you might still, maybe. I, I might do. It depends how yeah. I die, really. Depends if you get kills, yeah. <laughs> but th that's like an intentional decision by, by you guys in terms of trying to fulfill a niche that you thought was missing from the game. Yeah, we kind of felt like there wasn't that much competition within the controller role for really aggressive agents who wanted to make plays individually. Uh, we felt like there was kind of a lot of role competition for really cerebral characters who really rewarded you for staying alive and playing in the back and making sure you got a lot of value for your team. But there wasn't much for the more impulsive, aggressive type of Valorant player. So you mentioned that the ultimate ability required a damaging assist. So that's where the Q medal seems really interesting because that is a damaging ability, but using a decay mechanic. So can you walk us through how players might use this? Yeah, so to combo kind of the ultimate not dead yet with, uh, with the Q, um, you really want to make sure that you debuff someone with the Q, and then if you kill them or assist them, then you'll, uh, you'll manage to stay alive in the ultimate. Um, so that's kind of intended by design that you can use this Q when you're, uh, when you're back alive to try to get a last minute save or stay within the round. Yeah, and it's not something you can use for lineups. It, it debts on a timer when yeah. you throw it right. So yeah, it's very like intentional. You, do you think people are going to be like cooking up like specific spots for it where you throw it out? Yeah, I think I think there will be specific spots where it's like quite powerful. I think a lot of the staging space fights on a lot of our maps are really good for it. Like Lotus A, where you're running out and it's kind of the the war zone of yeah, <laughs> utility. Rubble. Yeah, rubble. <laughs> uh, it's really good in spots like that, especially com uh, combining with other agents' utility. Um, so just kind of trying to play around those staging spaces are where I expect it to shine most because it can kind of just explode on your head really quickly. <laughs> so let's move on to the the first ability that we're covering last year, which is pick me up. So this one, again, incentivizing that more aggressive playstyle rather than trying to stay alive for as long as possible. It gives you something, a reward for going out there and getting kills. Yeah, uh, we really wanted to make sure that there were really clear signals for players that you want to play this character aggressively compared to other controllers. A lot of controller players, when we were first testing the character, were really, really afraid to take risks. And it was like, oh, we needed to give them clear incentives. And the easiest way to do that from a design pr uh, perspective is to say, hey, you can actually only press this button if you've killed someone or if you've damaged someone. Um, so that was kind of like the leading design inspiration there. Uh, and what is Clove getting from Pick Me Up? Uh, Clove gets a speed boost and a temporary overheal um, that is kind of similar to Reyna's overheal, a little bit different on the texture side of things in that all of the healing you get is temporary. So if you don't use the speed boost to go get more kills with your overheal, then it'll all go away. So you kind of have to assess if it's worth pushing the limits and you know I kind of hope people decide it's worth it most of the time. I'm a smokes main because I tend to just pick what my team needs. I don't think my team's gonna let me pick smokes anymore. This is gonna be insta-locked immediately. <laughs> yeah, your like role is gonna be stolen. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm very excited to see how it actually plays out. And I believe we've got something cooked up right after this. So thank you very much, John and yeah. Dan, for joining us. Really appreciate you explaining how Clove works. And we're gonna send things off to a taste of how this agent is actually gonna function in a real game environment.
What an exceptional way to start the day. We got to see all the behind goodies. We got to have a nice little chat with Dan. And now we get to see it live in front of us. And I couldn't imagine better players to be doing this, Mike. I mean, apart from Angel, maybe with the whole like death mechanic. But regardless, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this is so this is exciting. Yeah, literally, you just went Angel needs some help. Hey, all, all I'm saying is there's a definite crowd buff. Oh, Everyone heard it. it that was louder than half the yeah. teams. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. When Mixwell walked out, look, I, and it wasn't just Mixwell, I mean, Team Spain is stacked. And they got pumped up. The audience, you can hear it, they're behind them. And look, I'm a little biased. I do like that jersey as well there. That looks kind of good. But no, we were saying we'd love to see Mixwell kind of getting hands on with that agent. We'd love to see Mimi on the other side as well. You know, it's. You know, see what they can, they can come up All with. All right? I saw, Mimi's wearing a sleeve today, so you know. She's. Oh, she's, she's, she's She is locked in for this. <laughs> Oh, no, you're absolutely right. I was trying to see if we could sneak a peek and see if they've already done the agent select. You know what I mean? Just catch a little glance. But again, so cool to have some of these creators come out here. I mean, look at Mixwell. He's already pandering to the audience. But he's, he's brought out Wingman. He couldn't even be bothered to get the new agent scribbled out. I hope that's not a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, please don't play Gecko, if you don't mind. But uh, um, expectations here. Hopes, what are you wanting to see, Dan? If you could pick one thing to see, do you want to see that yeah, Rez come in to yeah, play what's with? What's the scenario what you're looking your, for What are you first dreaming here? of here? Yeah, yeah. I think the thing I'm looking forward to the most is one of the things when you have these clove mirror matchups that we saw in yeah. is you do have rounds where both teams know it's very important to win. It's the important buy round. So you see some absolutely hysterical double cobalt situations where everyone is trying oh, to frag and it becomes just a huge, you know, bloodbath. Here we go. We got it locked in. Do we get our dreams? We do. Mix well. Well, up on go. We've got Beanie the head to well. head. Let's go. Okay, so people at home, if you want to get in touch, use the hashtag. I can't remember where it is, but I'm sure you know it by now because you talk to us and we appreciate it. Thoughts, feelings, who's winning this one? And also, Mimi or Mixwell, who's going to be the, the better clove here? Mike? Yeah, where's the clove diff coming yeah, from? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Mike, quick prediction. Mixwell or Mimi. I'm, I'm, I'm going Mimi because of the sleeve. I see the sleeve, I'm on board. I see the sleeve. I'm a little bit worried now <laughs> for Mixwell because you but. I'm still sticking with Team Spain. That crowd buff goes it's hard huge. today. It's huge. How about you, Mixwell, Mimi? Where are we going? Yeah, I, I think I'll root. I'll root for Mimi individually. Okay, I'll root yeah, for yeah. Mimi. I think I agree with the sleeve. The sleeve Looking very big. dialed in. <laughs> very dialed in. But the comms buff is huge. Uh, yeah, the comms buff. I don't even want to talk about that because it's such a real thing yeah. as well, right? It's like we've got such a variety of players from different regions, different influences coming in to celebrate this, to show off this new agent, and I cannot wait to see this in action. Unfortunately, um, if you're paying attention, we've got Prius taking us through. So you know we're going to miss a couple 1v2s here, We're Mike. in safe hands. We should see all of the abilities every in action, <laughs> catching every single one. I'm praying Yeti or Heather's there. You know, praying tonight. on the free cam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's up. All right. So look, before we get ourselves into trouble, because they said, look, have fun today, Lauren. You get to be funny. And uh, Dan's coming out. Ah, you know, you can have some fun with it. So I've just got to keep it a little check but there's something you were saying kind of while we were watching that interview is how strong some of these abilities are kind of when you look towards almost pistol rounds and how they can kind of i guess not encourage necessarily but it really suits it in action because you get so much more of a reward for it so i'm kind of hoping we see off the rip oh my word holy yep gotta love being in spain baby <laughs> couple seconds away now but yeah i'm looking for these pistol rounds to maybe highlight some of those abilities we noted in the videos oh this is incredible this isn't even the grand final to listen to these guys what a warm-up for the crowd as well absolutely an absolute celebration of valorant here and we're getting into this one Team International up against Team Spain and we're starting with where we want to be Mimi show us what you got here yeah, really interesting different buys from Mixwell versus Mimi here. That's very true, actually. Just kind of the classic and then opting for the utility kit a little heavier and also... Only one smoke, Mixwell? <laughs> I, I love the judgment. Oh, I love yeah. <laughs> Immediately, yeah. instantaneous. Mimi has fallen, however. Looking for the follow-up, potentially. They're banking on Mixwell to do some damage now. Show us a little something, Mixwell. Seeing the response from the rest of the side. Hitbox coming through. Oh, lovely little pinch in middle. And the crowd's loving it. They are absolutely pumped up for this. And there's just not much play here. Nice try from Kaide, but Mixwell with the punish. Starting to see a little bit of Clove's work there coming into effect. It's Jisoo left now. 
Well, 1v5. Spike's not in the best spot for this, I'll no, be honest. No, probably not. Well, that, not anymore. Definitely not now. Flawless round to start with. Not bad. Not bad. But interesting to see that, and I noticed on the minimap, obviously, why I believe once Mimi fell in the market, we have the AOE there. It's, is that actually for the, uh, the, the, the smokes? Yeah, that's the range of the post death smoke from Clove, the Ruse ability. And it's actually a good example of the decay as well, metal landing. Love to see that straight through being shown. Look at him. <laughs> Any excuse gets like one kill. He's getting pumped up. Come on, Mimi. Come on. Wait up! Spain are giving it up there. This is meant to be a friendly show match, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get to see some more of this then, because it looks like we are going to be heading towards our B site. Mimi and Mixwell, hands in the air. And it looks like you're seeing it perfectly displayed here. The counter to it as well, slowing down that approach on main. And look at the combination to this. It's excellent. Mimi, Fugu, both punished. Hard to break through here. Seeing that utility stacking on top of each other here, Mike. Follow up here. Well, Mixwell finds one. Another one comes through. Will close out the three K. He's on his feet already for the second round. Uh, I'm not even sure if we did catch another example there. Actually, the medal landing maybe a, an assist here with the nano swarm might even catch it on the replay. Yes, actually coming through yeah. right here. So oh. perfect opportunity actually to talk about the decay. We were talking about this before we came in. Is it is it damage mitigation? Is it regardless of HP with shields? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't ignore shields. You can think of it just as 90, uh, 90 simple damage. Um, obviously really strong when comboed into a smoke. That was kind of one of the things yeah. I was thinking about when making this kind of projectile that just explodes after a set delay. Um, so that was kind of a perfect example of what I was hoping for. So really, really pleased there. Way to go, Mixwell. You'll we've be invited some, back. We've already got some set pieces here. Yeah, they've, What's going they've been on doing here? strats. Well, they've been right scrimming. Well, they, this, is, I, this is meant to be fun, guys. <laughs> this, I've never seen Mixwell try this hard on the stage before. <laughs> Nice kill count too. I'm kidding. Makes more fans like I'm <laughs> Ah, this is this is gonna be tough to break here. Yeah, that's the spike noted too. You already see them responding in kind. Yeah, this is a shutdown. Team Spain, relax. They've got the setups. They, they absolutely do. On the and they, they've already got such a nice idea of how to combo this utility, yeah. lock down areas of the map, make it incredibly difficult. Maybe there's a chance here for a little bit of fun though. Good attempt. Oh. Not gonna get the third. Mix well. Trying his heart out, giving the fans something to cheer for. But yeah, as I said, I, I think there's a lot of room here to see these kind of players starting to consider the creativity with what you can achieve with this agent. Yeah, so I guess outside of that, what, what are the best sort of combos? What should we looking, be looking out for here? I know obviously on the, the previous round with the Nano Swarm, there's no shields involved there, so the decay did go down to 10 HP, but what are some of the, the, the synergies to look out for? Yeah, really, really good with basically any damaging utility. So really good with uh, with the KO, uh, KO Molly in this game. Yep. Um, really good at also like punishing Sovas that are in drone if they're you know stationary oh, yeah, in a common yeah, spot. Yeah. If you have lineups for that, you can coordinate with the teammate, get some free free plucks. Yeah. Wow. I, I guess as well, the AOE, does, does it go through walls or...? No, no, no. It, you couldn't, for example, crunch through from A main onto the orb? No, it doesn't go through walls. You can think of it very similar to like a Ray's explosion. It uses okay. kind of that same back-end technology. Okay, thanks so. Another opportunity. And he's actually going to lean into this one a little. Could have isolated. And look at the damage. Look at what he's been able to achieve here. Cutting off a couple of players from the others. Using this utility incredibly well, but now has a fair fight. Didn't manage to lock down the opportunity while he had that little bit of timing, so a good chance here potentially for the international side. But again, their weaponry, not ideal. Mimi. Fugu is fighting back. Yeah, Fugu is, is putting up numbers. A 2v3. Black and hitbox. The angle. Oh, the timing! No! Just turns away. Fugu is popping off, though. Kaide and Fugu. Are you going to be able to find Black? in time oh you absolutely will he was just drifting through that smoke and i'm still sitting going but wait omen didn't smoke that where's that oh, smoke just come from amazing. like my brain's catching up these smokes can be coming in once they've died yes oh it's it's mind-blowing it's well, completely another situation it. here yeah but I, I believe obviously where mixwell falls there's a, there's an opportunity for uh, basically to still apply smokes to, to both sides there what's the, what's the range like so it's a little bit smaller when you're dead i believe by like 10 meters so it starts at brimstone's range and then scales down just a little bit i just wanted to give myself a balancing lever for you know future dan <laughs> yeah. if i ever had to adjust it you should die. yeah you we know. do have the ult coming out for Mixwell as well here. He's now online so the opportunity to kind of show off a little to run it down well, I hope it. With an operator, maybe. I mean, 
Jisoo's in the back lines there, though. Okay. Locking off short, which is nice. Should be able to get that spike through. Looking to see if there's anything to disrupt this. I can't quite connect with that judge already. The five then gonna find Kaide. Looking at Mix while getting closer now. See the consideration of the utility, but Mimi is there. 4v3, a tricky scenario. And already Black is trying to close that gap, but makes a meal of it. Good trade out for Leviathan, though. 3v2, Mixwell now looking for a little bit more. Leviathan having a round here. Mimi up against Mixwell, who's got this one on wraps. Mimi's got a good opportunity, but Mixwell beats it to it. And my, my, we are getting a little bit of a one sided affair so far, but. I mean, maybe those comms coming into effect, huh? I mean, I was hoping to see it there, a situation where Mixwell's entering Ooh. on that retake yes. and really burning up, uh, I guess, well, maximum effectiveness yeah. of that ultimate. Yeah, one of the things we talked about in dev was the pocket value of this ult, just okay. giving you confidence to take fights. Because we'd run into these situations where people don't use their ult a lot, and we're like, is this a problem? And I'm like, I don't think I need to fix you having a good game of Valorant, you know? Sure, sure. Uh, so. Yeah, that's... That's a good way of looking at it, actually. I mean, yeah, th there's a window there where you, you can run in potentially full first, but then still obviously have the smokes to apply yeah, after death. Uh, what's the timing like in terms of popping the ultimate and dropping smokes immediately after death? Because it's a short window to reactivate, right? Yeah, so we simplified the paradigm so that you have to choose if you're going to ult or not before you drop smokes. We just okay. found that in development, it quickly became like this crazy frenzied APM check <laughs> if, uh, if you had to do both. Um, we didn't really want that. We wanted it to be, you know, a simple kind of set of decisions. Yeah, clear cut. I like that. But we do have a couple of alts out to play. We didn't quite see that invested yet on Clove on either side. So that's still in a possibility here. But knives out for Fugu. We've already seen what Fugu could do with just the... Sheriff was rather impressive, but still. Mixed well. This is what we waited to see. Alts in play. Back on his feet. What can he do? But it's Black in the back lines. Kaide with a critical trade. But this is now dangerous. Can he do anything with this? Oh, he's running low on opportunities here. And there it is. Runs out of time. Bye-bye, Mixwell. Yeah, he did decide to die in the middle of the map. So his smoke range, <laughs> okay. he will be able to cut off the cat rotate if they decide to go into that. So th th this this circle that appears on, on the mini-map, is, is that Mixwell slipping into the smoke's yep. UI? Right. Yeah, that's him activating the smoke UI. The method to the madness here. That tarts a real problem. And the flash as well. Hitbox going to swing through for the last two. Mimi and Kaide, a potential dream team here. Alt ready for Mimi and Kaide. Still got the turret as well, so got a lot to be able to try and make this a difficult retake here. What can Mimi do with this, though? Can play aggressive, though. This ultimate is the opportunity. Available. Yeah, she has to decide here if she wants to play time with the Clove ultimate or if she wants to get aggressive and try to make a difference really. They're so close by. She wants the pick first, which she's going to get. Opportunity now. Lockdown going to come into effect as well. Mimi's fallen. There it is. All going to come in, but already there's that readjust we were looking for. Evading any of the damage. The fire then on the repunish, though, but it's just Kaide now. A 1v2, so difficult. And just going to get caught here. Oh, the turret! The turret! The turret! And they're both detained! What is going on? At the time, Kaide's got a chance on this now. Kaide could clutch the hell up here. Oh, Kaide, let's go! What a round! That was so good! But one of the situations we're talking about, right? Mimi can go and challenge this lockdown. The ultimate obviously enables Mimi to do so. Uh, I mean, it just so happens that the, the counter lockdown, I think Mimi re challenging here to try and push through. But Leviathan hits the shots time and time again here. Crazy exchange back and forth as well. But Kaide with the clutch. Let's go. No, it's, it's just. I do like the option that it, it is that player's choice, right? You're in a 2v3 scenario. I've now got my old, do I try and run this? Do I get aggressive? Do I posture up a little bit? Ooh. Because I have that. And speaking of aggression, Mike, they're getting right back to this. Yep, that's them fighting for that staging space like I talked about. People generally respect the decay a decent amount. It's a little scary. Definitely, yeah. It's terrifying, the speed. Of, on that video we were watching as well, especially there's a lot of elements, there's like, you're not used to it yet yeah, so, either. So what are the timings there, the decay to take effect? How long does it last as well? So the total duration of the buff is five seconds, but they're only maximally decayed for 2.5. Again, this is some kind of nerdy, you know, back end math, just so I can tune it down the line if I ever need to buff or nerf it, you know, maybe. Heard I, about your buff and another. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know, man. We're, Good track ooh. record. <laughs> hey, you know. Hey, look, it's worked well so far. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we get now going forward here. Both alts burnt up, so see if they can maybe get those back online within this half comfortably. Mixwell 
Going to challenge. Going to be peeling away again. The international side, Mimi, with a belting shot towards Black there. Gets a dip away, and they could potentially go back towards that A side. But a drift towards B. And it looks pretty available. This is going to be hard to hold again. Just a ghost there with Leviathan. 30 seconds left. Just a narrow swarm on the way in, though. Mimi probably looking to drop some sort of coverage here. Cut sight lines. Let's see. Yeah, well, Mimi, off. yeah, found the kill. Mixwell slipped sight, though. So a little bit of room to work here, but I don't think Mixwell's got a great deal of kit left. No, and he's taken a lot of damage here. Fugu on guarding duty as well. Spike going to go down. Trying to go for a little bit of a spam. Swings in. Fugu punishes. Beautiful work. Hitbox through middle, gonna find Fugu. So again, keeping track of this one. This is much better from the international side. Finding their footing here now. What can Sergio Ferrara do? Ah, it's a labored approach for Kaide again. Safe pair of hands for Kaide. Doing very well. Yeah, if I may interject. Please. Yeah, Mimi got that first opening pick with the Q into the smoke in CT. So we saw kind of that, that open up the site. Yeah. Do you want to be a caster? <laughs> I mean, a tri-cast could work, you know? <laughs> pew, pew. One of these. Oh, yes, here, just here. You're yeah. right. That's why Leviathan got melted. That was so good. So damage-wise for the, for the half, half shield and full shield, effectively talking about that, well, the difference between one shot with the Vandal or two shots um, uh, with the rifles. So, I mean, that's why it makes you super squishy if you yep. sit inside those smokes. But outside of that, you really have to respect sitting inside these smokes, challenging yeah. them, because we see that now in the meta so commonly. Yeah, that was one of the things that we kind of got, you know, we felt good about smokes in the kind of post-death world is they're usually kind of symmetric. People can sneak into them. Sometimes yep. sometimes there are timings where things get a little spicy. Um, so I just wanted to give Clove a little bit of a tool to, you know, if, if they have the read that there's an opponent there, use the ability to punish them. Oh, it's great to see it's for versatility throughout this. Already, Mimi getting relatively close to ult. Three away. Mixwell quite some way off. Smoke there towards Tree. Fugu looking to take that space potentially off the back of the Owl drone as well. Not ready yet. Again, I feel like they found their rhythm towards the A site. Starting to look more comfortable here, but a lovely bomb Beautiful flash and a swing. Good trade though, Fugu, and the pressure. If Mimi had been able to outdo Black, that was the site on wraps. Not the case. Black holds very well. And now we've got to look towards where the hell that spike's going. Trying to find a little info. Spots no one out by Wine. So again, knowing they're still drifting around here. Mixwell making their way over towards short too. What's he got here for us? 30 seconds left. Okay. Kyle looking to slip the smoke here. Yeah. yeah uh, nobody is, looking towards. This is nice. This is Mimi's smoke too that they're creeping through in tree. With the contact, that's it. Look at the lovely synergy. Forcing Mixwell to respond and traded out by Fugu, but time. 10 seconds now. Fugu in a 1v2. Needs that plant, left. Fugu. There's a keyboard mash going on right no. now. No! Is this keybind diff? Oh no, the setup's not there. What's happened, Fugu? They had to go out and get the keybind set up earlier, man. What's happened? Whose keyboard's he got? Uh, don't give us a don't give us a technical timeout. No, I can't do it. I Michael, can't do a tech pause Michael, for a show I match. Can't. It's, Surely it, that, not. That's our final straw. That's when we walk. We we'll have to bring Kevin, the producer, out to pick up. Are you ready to cast with some producers or something? We're just leaving <laughs> it solo down. I'm sorry, mate. Look at that. But luckily, it is just a show match, so no harm, no foul. We get to play on. And now I've got to check back in on those odds because again, it changes the dynamic so much. But I, I feel like I haven't kept track of an ult's progress in a long time. But actually, Mixwell catching up pretty well here, Mike. He's right back within touching distance of Mimi, who kind of went for a tear here. He can hold the angle all down exceptionally low. That's a bit of a problem. Going to hear the ult being popped as well. Leviathan fell there? I think he just got double shot. Yeah, he must have done. So I've been watching Jonas's videos. I don't even know he's still got those up. It's all rust these days. Off we go, Mixwell. What are we up to now? What can you do with three HP in a dream? This is brutal. A stray bullet might put him down. No ult to depend on either. Got to be so cautious. That decay. Put him right down a not one. Not helping the HP bar, but Ew. still the possibility to get in the pick me up here. It's true. If Mixwell can do some damage. I'm looking to get proactive. Here it is. That's what I'm got waiting the ultimate, on. Ult yeah. there, coming in. That's beautiful work from Mimi, showing this in pure action. Stunning. Mimi flexing a little bit. Hitbox going to give him a chance back in. 2v2. Black still low. Fugu trying to hold him on the side. Gets overwhelmed. Hitbox back in. 1v1. Black already down. So low on HP. Just got to watch that. Smoke. They've done it. Black falls. Game back on.
and that's the scenario we were talking about earlier. Mimi obviously running Stay forward, playing the very, very aggressive like because that you have that get out of jail free card. Yeah, I just want to sh shout out yet yeah, YJJ also for that yeah. early opening double shock dart pick. And then the 3k to clutch out the round, that was big. It's ridiculous, right? No, I, I, the, the dynamic of this in my head is just going to shift so many of these post plants, even in like, as said, a, situations that aren't sitting favorably, maybe in, as said, a 2v3, but you've got a bit of space maybe, but you feel like you could utilize this ult, and you still have that, I don't want to call it a dismiss, but that ability to kind of readjust once you come back in, so you're not instantly punished. So again, there's so much versatility to this hitbox, getting proactive though, clean shot on YJJ this time, not allowing any of those shock dars to be unleashed. Makes well ult ready. Obviously we noted Mimi's invested just last round. At this point, slow progress across the map, but you can see Hitbox getting curious towards middle. No aggression coming out. Well, this round, a Sheriff in hand for Mixwell. You can see him push too far. Fugu, though, Ooh. he's fixed those keybinds. Yeah. Le Leviathan's just been fragging, by the way. Yeah, Leviathan's kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. And this is who we're weighing on. Does Mixwell decide to get a little more involved here? Has that opportunity to? Oh, he just heard the drop. Yeah. He knows Should one. You're aware. How does he decide to play this? Re-smokes and spots a player. Kaide! Backhanding, but here we go. Here's that ult coming into effect now. He's running. He's terrified of Kaide! <laughs> Kaide is just a monster. Hunts down Mixwell, not once, but twice. And tees up the rest of the side. Yeah. 30 seconds left. But you can see there that how short the window is to try and get it. It's not something you do have a get out of jail free card. It's a small window to be able to reposition. Yeah, it's two seconds long, not very short. If you're alone, sometimes you can run into some awkward situations. I think part of the skill, the ultimate, is knowing when you're actually dead and you probably should hold the button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one tempting button, you know hey, what I mean? We've already had Chrissy on the stream. I have heard Legends Never Die, Michael, so got to bring it up. She said she'll buy me a drink for every single one. Yeah, wait a second here. Fugu. Fugu. He's got it. The crowd just heartbroken. They were so ready for it, getting so riled up. But no, this is... Uh, We've actually got a close game, which is wild, because like normally, whenever we do these show matches when it's a close game, they're like, guys, we should talk about the finals, dude. But here we go, My watching this back, Kaide. Oh, look at Kaide, just hunting down poor old mix. I guess as well, the, the next question on the back of this, what's what's the, um, uh, I guess, window for pulling out your weapon after coming out of the ultimate? How quickly can you, is it the same with like the, the Euro ultimate where you have a, a shorty in the back pocket potentially? I believe it is the same as your result. It might be a little bit faster. I would need to double check. Okay. And those values are all really tight. I think it's point, yeah, yeah. Point 0.6 on Reyna, point We're getting into the eight on your Yeah, yeah. this one we've got my cat here. There'll be a low yeah. far video in a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah. So in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's been counting. Already YJJ. Ooh, thought he might have had an opportunity right on that one. Down, Mimi's eight. fallen. Like trying to back away, but the rest of the team's here. And look, if Kaide's still standing, there's still a chance. Kaide's been popping off here. Does have the lockdown as well. But again, just so many players up against them. Five, five. Not ready. Close yet. affair between these two. Mixwell. He's probably trying to buy a couple more seconds Not towards A. Yeah. Free smoking. Keeping them locked out at this point. No damage coming through here, but you see Jisoo's tagged up as well. Yeah. Down to 12 HP, but ultimate available. Lockdown here as well. Black. I don't know. Did did he catch a glimpse there? I don't know if he caught it on the smoke fade between the reinvestment, but certainly feeling something's up. Faking the TP as well. Jisoo, that HP is scaring me. They are drifting away from this. 30 seconds there, leaving this late in the day. Left. A little nervous Are they trying hitbox. to split short? Might I be. mean, they have no other options if yeah, they shift walk Yeah, they've got to go. Hit. Hitbox's been sharp too. Just waiting around that corner. Does what? get out done. Okay, game back on. This plays in Mixwell. This plays back in Black as well. Trying to do some stall here. Look at this late round. How impressive that is! Beautiful synergy. Teeing up Black to take down two. Using that util on Mixwell so well there. Clove looking fantastic. Yeah, really well, really well cast Q from Mixwell there. I was gonna call out Mimi did die towards the A side of the map. So I think that's kind of why they were strategizing around ending around yeah. the smokes. That's kind of yeah. a mind game that I expect to, you know, evolve later. Do you, you know, called go it. into double fakes? Yeah, you absolutely called it. And I guess the, the burning question is Clove's ability to 
kind of play solo controller, or, or is this more leaning towards a flex controller, something to maybe you know back up in some of the double controller compositions we see? Yeah, I think it. I think Clove is a little bit weaker if you're playing as a solo controller on maps where you want to play really fast. I think you can pull it off if you play a little slower and wait for the smokes to recharge and you're willing to default and play picks. But I think if you're only rushing, you're going to get outdone by like Omen or Brimstone. So maybe actually scarily enough alongside a Viper. Yeah. Oh. The decay and the vulnerability and everything. Ah, that, yeah, now I'm scared. I, I always wish we'd seen it brought out here, even a little unorthodox, just to see the potential to it. But as we see, Blanc going to be coming in. Oh. <laughs> Why are they snapping? I mean, tens in the final, kind of before just warming up. You know what I mean? That's actually kind of nuts. Mixwell getting closer now, though. Put down, just down to two here. Leviathan has been really solid, though. Oh, come on, pre preventing this. So, maybe he does get a glimpse up here. Leviathan again. Kaide's down now. Okay, still a chance here. Starting to see those late round smokes coming into effect here. Mimi trying to turn the tide a little. Done very well. Spotting out the barrel as well. Noting that final player's position. Gorgeous. Yeah. Of course, we've got a tide game. Another question here as well. Once the null commands popped, how does that interact with Clove's, I guess, dead body or or, or where you know, the, the smokes are then allowed to be placed? So right now, and this is definitely on the watch list, it does not interact at all. That's something I'll have to keep okay. an eye out for. Um, we just wanted to see the consistent power of the abilities, see how they work, but right now it is not affected by suppression. Let's go, you guys. Great Interesting. Job. Yeah, bigger question to that. It, it seems like you guys are very flexible with being able to see it once it's been put, put into players' hands, see how it plays out, and being willing to adjust off that. It's not just a final product the second it's out, right? Yeah, I mean, we are a game as a service. That's something I always talk about at work. It's like, we got to balance the game as we see it. Oh my god, this crowd. <laughs> yeah, wow. wow right? Yeah, it's crazy. Again, this is for a show match. You got it, you love to see it. Audience getting warmed up here. Obviously, the final not too far away. The second this is finished, I believe it's about a 20-minute turnaround until the grand final starts. So if you're wondering, once this ends, that Sen Gen G game will be right on the horizon. But we have had such a good opportunity here to potentially see Mimi do some serious damage already. Noting this is gonna be this A hit. Mixwell gonna find Mimi, and that's a problem. They're winning out all the fights. Jisoo, though, they control at least one side of it. Oh, <laughs> Mixwell. Almost got baited into that, but still able to find what he was looking for. We shut down Leviathan, though. So it's a 2v2. See, obviously, Mimi did fall on this side, so smoke's still possible, but YJJ finds Sergio. Mixed off 70 HP. Oh, we'll find it. Comes through. Oh, come He's on. got the 4K. And a Red Bull clutch here. Beautiful stuff. And actually, first, I was going to say, we hadn't seen any specific examples of the... Uh, the speed boost coming through, that, that slight buff to movement speed alongside the pick-me-up. What, what are the sort of timings on that as well? Yeah, so right now it lasts 10 seconds, and you get the overhealing and the speed for that whole duration. So we can see it here on the bar, but it's just down on the utility bar, yeah. Yep. But how, how, how does that get? <laughs> <laughs> Come off it. Still got that player mentality. Love that. Looking like a Heretics player all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the, what's the comparison, of, for example, versus you know Neon's ability to move a little quicker? Yeah, so I kind of justified it to myself, and maybe this is a little bit of designer copium, but I kind of justified it to <laughs> myself by saying like, hey, everything you get is temporary compared to you know like Reyna's heal. You only get yep. the speed boost and the healing while it's active. Everything else falls off. So I really wanted to, you to press that gas pedal or get nothing. And so I think this is a uh, you know. You know, 10 seconds is aggressive. It's a long yep. time for a speed boost, for sure. But Neon kind of has a less gated version True. of being able to run around the map. Now, let's see if any opportunities present themselves here. But again, the buy not going to be ideal for the international squad. Pretty damage being done, though. And Kaide still firing off. The Vietan going to be falling. As well, noting the player on short. And they get... <laughs> okay. Okay, YJJ is kind of nuts, but does the uh, okay? Yeah, they get the ball. So he's absolutely no, confirmed. confirmed. Absolutely confirmed. <laughs> Mimi and Kaide still standing up against Black Spike, well within reach. Can be noted. Kaide waiting, bounces. We tied up this game. Pretty damn close. It's a Mastercard thrifty. I never got to say that before. There you go. Look, okay, yeah, we've been, we've been yeah, don't, yeah, don't. Look, we... <laughs> we'll give you the next Red Bull clutch as well. Yeah, you can have <laughs> It's the right of passage. You're, you're, you're going to become a caster at this rate if you're not careful. <laughs> I don't know if you want that job, really. It's all right, but, you know. Yeah, this job's pretty fun. <laughs> okay, so now we got to...
check back in. I can't believe how close this game was. I mean, Team Spain won. I don't know how much trouble I'm going to get in. Dude, I, I heard the Wait, trouble. was Kanye oh, teabagging? Kanye teabagging. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's probably like, am I in trouble? Like, uh, you're Kanye. You're fine. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, jeez. But can we get a replay of that, however, uh, if possible? Um, oh. Hitbox. Maybe not loving what happened to him last round, so answering back pretty quickly. Mixwell, very close to the ult. How dare you steal that? How dare you? We could have had the ult online right now. Well, let's see what we have coming out here. Again, having to respect this side take. There's, there's so much good utility put down. Forging a clean path. The ult going to be coming in as well. And there's the plant. This is uh, looking rough round. Them to hold on to, though. The spam's in play, but didn't connect. As well. And re smoke towards heaven. Waiting just on the other side here. Alt now ready. Can play aggro. He's looking like he wants to as well. Even just with that share, if he fancies it, maybe the best way to turn the odds this round is they are looking to shift towards short, maybe expecting. Oh! Belting shot! He's praying for death. They're not giving it to him. And on the back lights, Maxwell doesn't even get the chance to die. Fugu, what? Okay, time. Nixwell has not dead yet, doesn't he? Oh, doesn't need, doesn't need it, doesn't need it. Still standing, still breathing. Evades death itself. It keeps Team Spain moving forward. One up to the good here. But interesting there, I was curious in the 1v1 situation, you can challenge this post plant and basically have another shot at it. Yep. Yeah, you, you can put a lot of pressure, especially when that spike's ticking. People start to get nervous. They start yeah. to freak out. They're, they're shaking. You just run around the corner and make them fight you again. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, don't pull them further away from the spike and really run the clock down. So, a shame we didn't see it, but that's potentially something to keep an eye out for. Absolutely. They get going off the back of this mix well. Showing plenty of opportunities here. Maybe not the nicest weapon to use it with, but you know. I mean, seeing the Odin here, the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, Aye. okay. Why well, JJ previously good with the Sheriff, but not landing this time around. But I was just thinking towards the Odin spam, particularly on the, the defense side, this B main will be so hideous to play inside. Yeah. If that metal gets invested with the Odin. Oh, big swing there from Hitbox, doing really well this time. Aide going down. So the Clutch Queen has been removed. Fugu, the one with the rifle, gonna be eliminated. This is rough now. And yeah, well handled by Hitbox. Team Spain, taking a stronger lead now. And to see if the international side has much to bring to the plate here. Otherwise, where are we at for me? Mimi's still a mile away as well. But you're right, some of those choke points, Mike, are going to be really Yeah, I mean, I'm just starting to think now in terms yeah. of you're talking about utility synergies and where there are choke points around the map. What's the AOE of the metal versus the smoke? Is it, is it larger than the smoke or is it about the same size? It's pretty similar. I think it's eight meters, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So slightly larger than the KO fragment? Uh, I think so. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> this is a this is a quiz. A quiz yeah, that I know, I, look, I'm Mike, failing right the now. The problem is that you've started Mike off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like normally, Mike's I'm thinking you know, lineups already. Yeah, he's like, Hold I'm on, thinking, I need to get the block, server. You could block line of sight of it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Usually when I'm at work, I just go look. You know, I just go yeah, check. I, it I, helps, can't, right? I can't do that right now. I'm standing up over here. So we'll ask the players. Like, can you just line them up for us so we can see? But again, Fugu, clean. Oh, shot down A. Oh, nice from Fugu. Mixwell still has that ult though, so keep that in the back of your mind. Oh, one question I was going to ask as well, with the ultimate, can you retrieve the spike? Oh, Oof, God, I... I'm hitting the, I'm, I'm getting uh, the hard hitting ones now. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. We'll harass you on Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, can, I, out. I can check. First thing, off the flight to LA. Done. Done. Now, this is going to be all online. Sergio. Oh, the little peek, it's perfect. These two. Ultimate, though. Yeah. No flashes, no TP, no decoy. Ah, oh, this angle. He's got the... Oh, Jisu! What a stab! I thought Sergio had that every day of the week. So yeah, that, that would be a really in interesting interaction to see if, obviously, the spike will fall when Clove dies. 
and then the ultimate's activated whether or not you can retrieve that, potentially get it back out of harm's way, back into a safer position to recover, potentially. Yeah, I think usually because the timer is so short at two seconds, you want to get somewhere and then fight. Yeah. If, if, the, if the spike is down, I think if you're trying to, like, you know, jump off of Split Heaven or something and chase yeah, that yeah. thing down, you're probably already in a kind of tough spot. Uh, Nine to eight. Oh man, we've actually had a good game here, which is wild. Like normally, it you know it can be a little one-sided show matches, but whoever picked these players, pick good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Again, Mixwell still with the ult. So even at the player disadvantage. Oh my God, look at why JJ just sprints yeah, away. Can't get the, out. The damage, the ability to just close down. Gaps Kaide with a belt to right back, but still. The ability to close down, and again, this is just spurring Mixwell on. It's almost snowballing a little bit. You can see it fully in action. Here he is back once again, spammed out. Yes, Mimi puts him to the grave this time. For the second time of asking. More to be done, though, having to respect that lockdown for a little longer. If Mimi gets one kill here, she'll have not dead yet. Bring it back. Let's go. Again, just heard. The ult come out from Jisoo, I believe. Yep. Run through, find some information here. Gotta get moving. I'm yeah, time is I saw Flash, but there we go. The Vitan gonna find Fugu. He's now down on the side. That's fantastic from Jisoo as well, but time. They should yeah, just it, about yeah. have that. Yeah, not a problem Ooh, in the end. I, I was about to say, not a problem, close. but it is close. No, I, I think they got it. They got it. Oh my god, they don't. That looks so on. That looks so on. Look at the time. <laughs> Mike, I went by the method of the little boop. When the boop flip, flips. The bloop. I thought, yeah. I thought we were in the time frame. What's the official term for the bubble? <laughs> Mike, I think, why I think are you around oh me? I'm, I'm shaking, I'm shaking now. I think, I think boot blips is probably as good, yeah. as, I, as, good as I've got without looking at the file. Let's, let's get that in <laughs> time. There. That is crazy. Like, legit, my brain didn't... I, I thought they had that because of the boot bibbin, you know? But oh, yeah. here we are. Here we are, close as you like, 10 to 8 now. Mimi alt is ready. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, but... They're going to surely just run her down here. Trying to run into the loving arms of a supporting teammate, Fugu, but it doesn't matter. Overwhelmed Backs up there. In heaven. Yeah. Wait, what? TP invested here and oh, committed. Nuts. This was a set piece coming out from Spain. They've been running. Hold on. What? Why, JJ? Where have you just done that from? What the hell just Kaide's happened? Well. Kaide could do some Take serious work here. Just getting towards the right spacing of this. I think Hitbox is... Okay, Hitbox is down towards the lower side of things. And YJJ is still looking for some more here. The Vitan on the other side, though. The timing, excellent. Just dipping around that smoke, put into play. The lockdown is there, though. Kaide, what can one player do? That's fantastic. Oh, I thought she had it again. Not this time, though. Beautiful timing on the smoke from the grave, though. Keeping a really, really good situational awareness over what's happening. But Mimi, unfortunately, yeah, caught off guard here. The sort of situation, uh, again, if there's a teammate swinging onto this, uh, it, that window is short. It, 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 it seems a little OP, but the, the window, it's not a get out of jail free card. Yeah, we wanted to make sure there was teamwork involved, you know? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You have to strategize around this ability that it's not just you get to do whatever you want. Yeah, sometimes you mess things up in video games. That's life. <laughs> the official dev line. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the Q hits your teammates too, you know. Ah, there you go. Um, right, as it stands, though, 11 to 8, Spain starting to take the lead here. That's an incredible round so far, though. Already, Hunter's Fury just getting posted, actually catches. Oh, why JJ's kind of nuts? Up. What? Wait. Nearly catching black as well. <laughs> a free haircut off of that. Don't on the corner, Fugu. <laughs> Clean with it, too. Alts galore here. Mimi creeping. But close up. Why JJ, though? control here and they're starting to dwindle in numbers down to three spike should be going down soon looking at Mimi coming around still plenty of kit to play with as well I think my JJ trying to play Mimi in here the synergy Perfect off the bait, charts yeah. love that again we were worried about the comms but looking pretty clean so you're trying to themselves a shot on this. I don't think I would have caught all the players probably just two at this point but still nice shot there towards YJJ Mixwell looking to try and get involved again. No ult in play here, so that's Mixwell in this. Kaide creeping closer. Sergio again. Oh, it's lovely. Mimi, you got something for us here, though. A 1v1. Mixwell. Mimi. It's going to be Mixwell here. Overheal, knowing what he's doing. Just really starting to enjoy the agent, it looks like. 
Yeah, you could tell he deep peaked, realized he still had the speed, and was like, well, I guess I'm gonna go wide now, and took the fight straight to Mimi. Now we're starting to get towards the end of it. 12 to 8 here. Now the question is, do they close out? Does Team Spain have that? OT. Don't say that, Michael. We've got a final The crowd waiting. wants it. I know, I know, but... What's the time limit, do you think, on this? <laughs> Look, no, they'll to... start panicking. You know... <laughs> I'm going to start panicking. I'm going to lose my job. It's, <laughs> it's not going to go well if that happens. But you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'm down. I'm down to clown. If I get to see more of the agent, I get to see this matchup, the audience. Hell yeah. But again, opting straight in for this A take. All players present. It's going to be down to the international squad to try and retake this one. Doors, yeah, well, doors removed. Well ahead of the plant here, so I'm not sure if Mixwell's timing on the smoke's regenerating here. YJJ taking a ton of damage. Smoke back towards heaven. Kaide, great impact to trade though. They're coming back into it. They're winning out the fight here. And now down to one. Jisoo going to have to do some serious lifting here. Well, this one is done. This is a 1v5-2 Mixwell with not dead yet. Oh, God, you're absolutely right. The odds stacked so heavily against them. Trying to swing in, trying to find a fair fight, and none of it. No, the knife! Not the knife! Oh, he's got him with a knife! What a way to round it out! Team Spain, home ground, picking up the show match victory. A fitting end. And actually, a taster for the crowd today, Long. This as well. You love to see it. Mixwell looking comfy there, up on 24 kills on the brand new agent. Great to see the crowd having their home team to cheer for. But the other side, got to say it as well, Kaide putting up numbers today. Looking solid. Mimi showing off a little bit herself as well. But YJJ, YJJ <laughs> was a firecracker during this series. Yeah, it was a real uh, Sova, Sova and Sheriff spotlight out there on some of those <laughs> rounds. Really, really nasty. Awesome double shock entry. You don't get to see that often. No, oh, you absolutely don't. So again, a real pleasure to get to watch this, to get to see Clove in action as well. Seeing some of that capability and possibility. And this is after, I, I mean, I think these players have had... Some hands on time. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, but not much. You can only imagine what pro teams pro players are going to be able to achieve once they get the ability to really play this agent, get their hands on and get, you know, considering, I said, Michael's starting to nerd out towards the end. They're going, well, what about this then? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 I need you to tell me about this specific thing. And <laughs> I can imagine the players at home will be doing the same thing here, but... I, yeah. I, I think we're quite lucky though. We have most of the kind of, I guess, the surface level scenarios or, or circumstances in this game, but yeah, definitely going to be very interesting to see how Clove fits into the meta. You know, what are the synergies alongside some other utility? Because it's it, actually the trajectory of um, of the, um, sorry, can't remember now, the medal, sorry, apologies. Uh, the trajectory of that, it's very easy to set up fast utility co combos, kind of off spawn barrier dropping. Yeah, yeah, it definitely seemed definitely seemed like it was putting in work. Honestly, metal metal was looking really good. Are you uh, happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, they had some sick trap plays, really just really well coordinated. Uh, honestly, I felt like that mix well smoke for the Sova drone also just really really well timed. Made that made that uh, Killjoy push on the timing super awkward. Um, so I think that just kind of shows what those kind of comms can help you do in those clutch situations. I was about to say, it must be somewhat nerve-wracking to see these players pick up something that you've had internal, that you've been working on, and then seeing them get their first real chance in front of the audience, bring it out to the wider world to see what Clove is capable of. That's got to be a little bit nerve-wracking. So yeah. you know, you're happy enough with the result though, right? I'm, I'm extremely happy about it. Honestly, it went far beyond my expectations. I think no game designer out there ever will ever be like, oh, players learn things way slower than I expected. It's like, especially <laughs> in a game Very like true. this, you know, our players are so good. They're so dedicated. They put the time in. Um, so I really felt like uh, the character shined really well today. No, I'm incredibly happy we got to Excited see Excited to see more. Yeah, Let's see. I, I just want to see what happens. Because like, again, when we see characters added to games like this, you're always curious to see how it's received. Is it viable to, especially competitive play? Because there's such a different cutoff to that aspect. And I think there is a real viability here. I'd be very surprised to oh, not definitely. see it. Uh, yeah, I mean, even even just here, theorycraft, and there are so many possibilities alongside a double controller, composition, obviously, alongside other initiated utility. But also, I mean, the, the, the fact that you can just play super aggressive as a controller and still have the ability to contribute.
Yeah, this has been an exceptionally fun day. Thank you so much for joining us here. We are going to hand it down to the interview with Kukuka and Mixwell. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos después de este maravilloso showmatch? Vamos a coger unas primeras impresiones de lo que ha sido este agente. Uh, we're here to grab some first impre impressions by the first people who get to play it here on the stage. I'm with Mimi and Mixwell. For first, Mixwell, congratulations on the win. It's lovely to see you back on the stage. Why don't you start giving us some first impressions on what the agent can do, what you think is very strong? Okay, um, I'm gonna speak in Spanish, so Mimi can uh, speak in English. Uh, mis primeras impresiones de Cloth es un personaje muy diferente a lo que hay. Es un personaje muchísimo más agresivo eh, que puede entrar con el duelista y um, morir para poder seguir tirando smokes en el after plant y ser muchísimo más proactivo. Así que es un personaje que yo creo que muchos duelistas que no quieren jugar smokes van a acabar jugando. Parece que es un guiño a alguien específico aquí en el torneo. Um, he was saying that it's a very aggressive smoker for all of those players that do want to be in the duelist but have to play a smoker. This would be a perfect addition because uh, of the wrestling ability. Now you, Mimi, do you think that there's going to be a place in competitive for this agent, first of all? Um, first of all, I'm going to put my controller, Vanya, on this, uh, okay. this agent because I love it. I love it. Um, so much. It's going to be so much. Okay, okay. then follow up with that one. Um, what other agents do you think you could combo it with? <sighs> Amazing question, first of all. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Anything that has a uh, like a raise nade or a like KO Molly or something that can combine with the yeah exactly with the the DK yeah perfect exactly. Ah, le estaba preguntando si creía que es una gente que se va a utilizar en el competitivo. Ella dice que Vania, una de las jugadoras de su equipo, en cuanto llegue a casa le va a poner a practicar y que hay que combarla con eh, alguna gente que tenga daño en la utilidad, como una granada de, de, de raise o todas este tipo de habilidades. Okay, last question is going to be for you, Maxwell, and it's not actually a question. I'm just going to give you some time so you can address the stage here in Madrid. Te voy a dejar que, puede, que digas lo que quieras aquí al stage de Madrid en este pedazo de evento que estamos teniendo, sobre todo para crear un poco de hype en la final que se viene ahora. Hola a todos, chicos, ¿cómo estamos? Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a todos por lo que habéis hecho por mí. Sin vosotros yo no estaría aquí jugando hoy, así que os agradezco de corazón todo lo que hacéis por mí. Eh, sois los mejores. Y... ¿Estáis listos para la final o no? ¡Más fuerte! ¡Más fuerte! Así me gusta. Nos vemos ahora. Muchísimas gracias a todos. Un corto receso y ahora mismo volvemos.